It's rush hour and Jin-kun is standing at one of the busiest intersections in Tokyo. The YouTuber is hoping to get noticed. <laughs> In just 15 minutes, three men have tried to flirt with Jinkun. <laughs> the influencer is an otokonoko, men who dress as women, influenced by a specific genre of romantic manga characters. Many of them show off their transformations on social media. The most popular and sought-after videos are the ones where I'm getting hit on. But these days, people recognize me more and more in the streets. So it's not so easy anymore. With 300,000 subscribers, Jinkun has transformed this passion into a career. Otokonoko <laughs> isn't centered around gender identity or sexual orientation, it's a form of gender expression. Mana identifies as a straight cis male who enjoys wearing feminine clothes. He doesn't want to show us his pre makeup face. Every month, he comes to this studio for a photo shoot with a professional. How about these futuristic servant costumes to match with the backdrop? Do you like this one? <laughs> the most popular outfit and makeup package here costs 100 euros. For regular clients, it's money well spent. I had around 100 clients a month at the start. Now that number's tripled. For 10 to 20 percent of my clients, the first time they try cross-dressing is with me. Mana is a loyal customer. He spends around 500 euros a month here. The full package is great quality. When I do this, I understand women and their everyday problems a bit better. Like walking in heels, for example. After the transformation, it's time to pose. Mana hasn't told his friends about his hobby, but his wife is well aware. It's true, he goes on dates in full drag with his wife. Yes, but today's outfit is a bit too much. <laughs> the Otokonoko trend wasn't just born out of mangas and fueled by social media. Cross-dressing is a centuries-old tradition in Japanese arts, notably visible in traditional kabuki theatre. According to this researcher, a cross-dresser himself, metamorphosis is an integral part of Japanese culture. Many men would dress up in women's clothes in the 17th century. But by the end of the 19th century, a new law banned men from cross-dressing. They'd be stopped in the streets and arrested. The Japanese government became ashamed of the practice, deeming that it gave the country a bad image. Today, some are still critical of art that defies gender norms. Others, though, have discovered it thanks to social media. Now there are even Otokonoko-themed bars. <laughs> this bar was one of the first ones of its kind when it opened 14 years ago. All the wait staff here are Otokonoko. They're so stylish. Their figures and postures are so pretty. When I came here for the first time, it was a bit strange. But they're not only cute, they're also attractive. Plus, because they are men like me, we can talk more openly. Not everyone is as open-minded to spaces that defy gender norms. The bar's owner wanted to expand his business, but the landlord refused. He has, however, noticed a changing attitude amongst the young. Young people are more used to seeing us and we're more accepted by the new generation. Before, in Japan, cross-dressers could only find work in gay neighbourhoods or as sex workers. Those were the two options. And all I wanted to do was dress as a woman. Otokonokos are gaining recognition both home and abroad. 
At the world's biggest Japanese animation festival in Tokyo, it was an Otokonoko-themed creation that won the public's vote.